Uh, Stu, congratulations, your first 5 through first class wicket, how does that feel? Yeah, it's a good feeling, um, I don't think it was going to come for a while, there was a, it was a tough, uh, tough effort at the end there to try and keep going and, um, and then finally get it and when we went off for the bad light I wasn't sure whether I, it was going to um, it was going to come but you know, um, couldn't have asked for safer hands under that high catch than, than Ollie so yeah, really delighted. Um, now you made your debut last year against Derby, of course you're at your hometown as well, so does that make it sort of extra special as well? Yeah, I think so. I think, um, you know, I've got, got a lot of ties with uh, Derby, um, you know, maybe sort of my granddad's watching over me or something like that. Uh, he was a big Derbyshire fan, so, um, but yeah, it's, it's weird how stuff like that works out. Um, but yeah, obviously, you know, delighted to get one Yeah, that's quite emotional, I imagine, isn't it? Yeah, 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 a little bit. Yeah, um, I'm pretty tired now, so um, you know, it, it, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's good. Yeah. And do you know any of the Derbyshire lads at all, uh, Stu? Um, not really, no. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, obviously, I moved from Derby when I was about six, so um, no, I just don't really get to know. Well, terrific performance today, and, and just tell us, has it been a frustrating season in many ways, Stu? Because you sort of, you, you've gone into the side and you've been out the side for the last couple of games. Uh, yeah, a little, yeah, a little bit. I mean, you know, I, I, when I've played in the first team, I've not, um, I've not bowled as well as I'd like to. I've not really taken the chance that I've been given. Um, to, you know, that would give me a few more games. Um, but you know, I feel like I'm a better bowler. I feel like I've improved this season. I feel like. I've been in the twos, I've been working hard and I've worked sort of on my all-round game. Um, and it just so happens that, you know, last year I came in, did quite well and sort of maybe got a bit lucky. And this year it's been a bit tougher to sort of back it up, but, you know, really happy, you know, to play it, to play it. Hopefully, you know, we finish the season strong with uh, Sussex. Um, there's, there's this sort of raft of young bowlers at Sussex. Is it quite difficult when you get in the side? Do you think, well, I'm in the side now, but now I've got to, I've got to take the chance? Yeah, definitely. But I think that's a good thing. I think I think it's you know when 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 you do come in and you know that someone's like chomping at the bit to try and you know displace you, you know that you've got to put in a good performance. Um, so you know it puts that pressure on. But that's that's good. That's what you want. You don't want to just turn up and know that your spot's safe because if you did that, you know you, you're not you're not going to put in as much effort. So um, you know it's good to have these guys around pushing each other. Um, and, we're, we're all getting better, so that's yeah, good signs. A nice vote of confidence from Ben Brown, because you, you got the new ball and he gave you a long spell as well. Does that help as well, Stu, when you get a, a really long spell, especially down the hill? Yeah, well, I was I was feeling good all day today, so I said, I said I went into him at tea and said, you know, can I throw him a hat, hat, can I throw him a hat in the ring for the new ball? And he said, you know, yeah, yeah, go for it. So, um, yeah, and I just, I just wanted to keep going, to be fair, you know. I didn't really bowl much in the first innings, sort of. Struggled a bit there, um, so it's good to know to sort of put a shift into the lights. Um, and when you're bowling, too, is it all about bowling as fast as you can, or are you trying to get more control in there? Or what, what's the instruction from the coaches? Um, I, don't, I don't know. I don't really think too much about control. Um, obviously, I'd like to, but you know, you know, Brownie, Louis, they, they say that you know pace is my biggest weapon. So just bowl quick. But some days, you know, if I'm in good rhythm, I bowl very accurately. And some days when you know I'm not feeling so good. Still got my pace to sort of fall back on, so you know, all the time, you know, just got to try and bowl quick. I think. And when you talk about feeling good, because I know you had some, some back issues last year, how are they still? Yeah. Uh, they were good, so I had my operation um, sort of December time and you know, did the rehab did the rehab for that, and you know, it's, it's held up really well this season. I bowled a, a fair amount of overs in the second team, so you know, uh, yeah, very happy with having back today. And you're in this game, two games to go, I guess it's all about now. Uh, so, you know, hopefully getting picked for these last couple of games, getting as many wickets as you can. Yeah, I hope so. You know, it's, it's, CJ comeback is going to be tough, um, but you never, you never know. Um, obviously, getting the five helps, but you know, if, if I play, if I don't, you know, I just if I do, I'll you know, give it 100 percent again. And what about plans for the winter, Stu? Um, so I've got um, on, at the end of September, I'm going to Papua New Guinea uh, with Scotland to play them in four day and then two one days, which should, which should be good. Um, and then hopefully get picked for the next Scotland tour, which is in Dubai, playing against Ireland and Kenya in November and December. So, so it's quite a busy winter, but you know, good to be playing some cricket. Well, oh, terrific! And just tell us how that Scotland connection comes around. Uh, so my mum's mum's side of the family are all Scottish. I'm half Scottish. Yeah. 
Uh, and when you're, and I know you've played for Scotland a couple of one days as well. Just, just tell us what that like that international experience. Uh, yeah, it's great. I mean, playing playing Sri Lanka was an you know, uh, amazing experience. So, and, and that's that's the thing about playing for Scotland. You do get to play against uh, you know, strong international sides, and that is, that's, to me that's a great experience. Sorry, and, and it's something I really want to uh, keep going with. Terrific. Well, well done today, Stuart. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you very much.